<laughs> Man, why didn't you all tell me that? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? You're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs. I'm Derek T, your host. And I'm out here on the highway. It is Saturday, December 17th. And if you can't tell <laughs> by the uh, white flakes that are falling from the sky, it's cold outside. It's about 28 degrees Fahrenheit out here in the steel city and everybody in pittsburgh is looking at me like what is this fool doing out here on a motorcycle cold as it is outside well i'll tell you what i'm doing i'm testing out my new heated gear and my new base layers um let me show you on the screen and i'll have links in the description box to all of this let me get out of your way I'll have links in my uh, description to all of these products um, on Amazon but I got my base layers on um, thermal pants thermal shirt and then I have my hot wired this is all new I have my hot wired heated jacket liner on underneath my HWK motorcycle jacket I also have the hot wire glove liners and a new pair of Sedici Adventura, I think I'm saying that right, gloves. The gloves themselves are not heated, but I have heated liners. The reason why I decided to go with the heated glove liners instead of the gloves is because the gloves themselves only heated the top part or the back part of my hand versus the liners, they heat like my individual fingers. Like the heaters are all the way through. Let me tell you, my hands are sweating right now. My hands are sweating right now and I got the heated jacket liner on too. It is keeping me, my core, my upper body, I mean, extremely warm. I'm gonna have to turn it down in a minute. I just, I can't look down right now, but I know I turned, when I turned it on and I put it on high, but it definitely doesn't need to be on high right now. So this is nothing more than a test ride, just to test out the new gear. First impressions, I'm loving the jacket liner and the glove liners. I'm gonna have to break the gloves in the gloves are, uh, they're a little stiff right now. So that'll come with me just kind of spending some time wearing them and kind of getting them where they're nice and comfortable. They are a little snug, but they, but what they are doing is they're holding the glove liner nice and snug on my hands. So my hands are really feeling the heat from the liner. And I'm, I'm digging the whole setup. Let me, uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's, red is high. That's medium. Let's put that on green is low. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. I'm literally, I can feel myself breaking a sweat in the jacket liner. That's crazy. <laughs> but it's working well. And like I said, it's 28 degrees out here, and you can see it's starting to snow a little bit. Um, so you know it's cold outside. But I couldn't be more comfortable right now. I mean, I got this big old windshield on here. It's keeping the wind off of me. Um, I don't have on half as many layers as I used to wear. I put on the thermal shirt underneath, and I put on the jacket liner, and I'm really, really good underneath here so I just took a ride into downtown Pittsburgh here 
but I'm not even going to stay in downtown long. I'm going to hop right back on the parkway and make my way back home. I do have some other stuff to do today. So I don't have a whole lot of time to be riding around, but I just, when, <laughs> when my packages from Amazon showed up and I had everything together, I've been really wanting to get out and do this video. Y'all, this is the first time in about 30 days that I've actually even been out on the bike. Um, just a combination of, you know, a lot of different things going on. Um, Weather-wise up here, it hasn't been 100% conducive. Job-wise, been kind of busy. Health-wise, I went through a period where I wasn't feeling good. So, this is actually my first time getting out on the streets, on the bike. Um, yeah, roughly in about 30 days. So, it feels good to be out. It feels even better to be out knowing how cold it is outside, but not being uncomfortable. I'll never forget one of the first rides I ever went on with a group of friends. We rode up to uh, Akron, Ohio from here. It's probably about an hour, hour and a half from here. And um, it was probably about this cold outside. <laughs> and I was a new rider. I was layered up and thought I was ready for the ride and I just wasn't. I just wasn't. I was, we were out on that highway and I was like, yeah, I'm having zero fun. But hindsight is 2020. I'm like, bring it on now. I'm loving this. Uh, I went that way coming out, so I'll go this way going home. I know freedom feels good <laughs> getting out the garage and doing some some riding around, stretching stretching freedom's legs out a little bit. As well. But the jacket liner, it comes all the way up to my neck. So I'm not feeling any cold. I'm not feeling any cold air on my neck at all. Um, my core is settled down a little bit. I'm not sweating anymore, but I can still feel the heat. Oops. Yeah, I'm not feeling the intensity of that high heat. <laughs> I guess I don't really need to have it on high. All like that. The, um, the glove liners don't have temperature control on them. You just plug them into the jacket and they're on. So they have pretty much one setting. There is a Bluetooth app that will take you through several. Um, if you connect it, it'll give you several more temperature settings. Um, I was playing around with it. Ultimately, I don't think I really need it. And with these gloves on, I'm not really able to control my phone in the Bluetooth settings and all that stuff anyway. I'd, I'd rather not be fidgeting with it while I'm riding. So, <laughs> high, medium, and low works. And actually, it's low. <laughs> that is kind of the setting that you want to go on. Um, I ran the tether i stop at this light right here and I'll show you. I ran the tether right here from under the seat to the battery on the right side and everything. That was a real easy install for me. And then during the summer months, um, when I don't need it, I'll just tuck it under the seat and it's out of sight, out of mind. But man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. As long as there's not a bunch of snow, salt, and ice on the ground, bring on the cold weather. Mm. 
I could probably rock out with the gloves without the liners. Because I'll tell you, these are some pretty heavy-duty gloves. Right through here. Feeling pretty good. Like I said, the biggest thing for me is just kind of getting, um, getting the gloves broke in a little bit. They are a little stiff. But I would have rather have warm hands and a stiff glove than uh, cold hands and a flexible one. <laughs> They're nice and padded too. Yeah, this was a good investment. This was a good investment and definitely a game changer. <laughs> and probably right on time because I have to put my car in the shop this upcoming week. So I'm probably gonna be without it for a day or two. So I will need to be out. And now I'm just not concerned about it. Now let me tell you, if there are any, I mean, I guess I've gone through all the pros here. There, are some, <laughs> there were some cons to all of this. And that is getting ready to ride took me about 30 extra minutes <laughs> um, <laughs> to get everything going. You know, to make sure the gloves were plugged into the jacket, the jacket's plugged into the bike. My phone is where I need it to be because I can't really do anything. I can't really control anything with the uh, with the gloves on right now. To have both the cameras roll in and everything else. <laughs> and then make the gloves the very, very last. This is the thing I learned. Make the gloves the very last thing that you do. Because I kept on having to take my gloves back off to do this and put the gloves back on. and. Oh man, I forgot that. I got to take the glove back off and <laughs> yeah. So if there's a con to it, if you're going to do some cold weather riding and you've got heated gear, you definitely need to give yourself probably an extra 20, 30 minutes. Give yourself enough time to get situated, enough time to forget something in the house and have to go back inside and It was just practice taking the gear off and on. <laughs> that, to me, I would say is the only con, the only drawback, because on a day like today, where I should be freezing, I'm just not. I'm just not. So this is a game changer. These are a game changer. And like I said, um, the heated gear, the, the jacket liner and the glove liners, I bought from Cycle Gear. So I won't have, I won't have a link to those, but the base layer that I chose, I'll put those in the description box down below. If you're interested at all. And yeah, this is Derek T. I'm on my way home testing out my new hot wired glove liners and jacket liner. Underneath here, my riding jacket. I'll put a link to this one because I got this one on Amazon too, the uh, jacket that I'm wearing. Um, which I've really just come to learn that it's an all weather jacket. I mean, I've ridden with this jacket in literally every kind of weather there is to ride in. So, you know, if you're looking for an inexpensive option, that's a nice padded jacket and everything else, check out that HWK brand on Amazon too. I think this jacket cost me like 40 or 50 bucks. It, it just wasn't expensive at all. So, and I've been riding with it now for three years. So it's more than paid for itself. In the amount of use that I've gotten out of it.
just like riding a bike when you haven't done it for a while you might get you might get rusty but you never forget all right van lifer be careful I ain't mad at the van lifers. <laughs> Not at all. It's, I watch van life videos quite a bit on YouTube. Anyway, that is my experience. Uh, at least my, my first experience riding with the with the heated gear on and man it's a game changer I should have done this two years ago all right you all I didn't bother to bore you taking the seat off and accessing the battery if you have a Goldwing 1500 you know how to do that by now but this is where I kind of snuck the lead out so that goes to the jacket perfectly right here and um, good to go um, this over here is my trickle charger. I leave that during the cold months. I leave that plugged in. Um, and then this is my iPhone charger. That's routed all the way to the saddlebag. So that's it. That's what that's going to be. And then during the summer months when I don't need it, I can just slide it under the seat and it's out of sight, out of mind. Man, why didn't you all tell me that heated gear was the game changer that it is? Man, I feel like I just took my jacket off. I feel like a baked potato that just came out of the foil. <laughs> Man, that thing kept me nice and warm, but look at how snowy it is out here. So, and we're back in the garage now, but man, that was, that was a great time. And like I said, it's 27 degrees right now. And I didn't feel any of it while I was out there on the, on the highway. So man, game changer for real. If you don't have heated gear, you need to go get you some. By the way, here's my, base layer that I'm wearing and I got the thermals on underneath it as well so hey uh, yeah you all should have told me this before two years ago anyway <laughs> this is Derek T you're watching Steel City Motovlogs you all have a blessed holiday season Merry Christmas